In the petition filed Wednesday afternoon, Alternative Leadership Initiative wants the four respondents, who include the Uganda Revenue Authority, Ministry of Finance, the Auditor General and the Attorney General to be compelled by the High Court to refund the 6 billion shillings which was shared among its officials. Some of the 42 government officials from the four government institutions who received the money include Doris Akol, the URA Commissioner General, her predecessor, Alan Kajina, KCC Executive Director, Jennifer Musisi, Secretary to the Treasury, Keith Muhakanizi, former Attorney General, Peter Nyombi, and his then deputy, Fred Ruhindi. Others are former Minister of Finance Permanent Secretary, Chris Kasami, who died last year, and the Solicitor General, Francis Atoke. It's not based on any legal procedures that are prescribed under our public finance laws or other provisions of the law, and so this is what we are contesting. In summary, we want court to find this uh, award, this presidential handshake, unlawful, and secondly, compel those who received these unlawful payments to refund them to the Consolidated Fund and have Ugandans uh, get the benefit of the social services that should proceed from these payments. The petitioners have also filed a separate petition at the Constitutional Court asking for the removal of the Deputy Chief Justice Stephen Kavuma on grounds that he was not rightfully appointed into the office he is occupying among other grounds. Mr. Stephen Kavoma has been a midwife of judicial corruption. He has perpetrated the most outrageous acts of indiscretion, corruption and disregard for the law. So it is in that regard that we have filed several cases in the past and today regarding the person of Mr. Stephen Kavoma. He has made orders singularly against freedom of movement orders against prayers, you know, he says don't pray, he even makes orders at night. He has made orders now against talking. Another organization, Legal Brain Trust, has also filed a formal complaint to the Chief Justice, Bart Katurebe, accusing Kavuma of misconduct. They cite an interim order he issued last year in May blocking the Opposition Forum for Democratic Change from conducting activities related to the defiance campaign and any discussions related to those activities. The petitioners in their complaint say the orders were issued after less than 30 minutes of ex parte proceedings and were used to disrupt public life and block judicial review.